think I'm getting a lot of grinding and scraping on Luna's door. So, how do you take the door off? Like this. <laughs> upper roller there's a slot in the track and what you can do is you pull it forward till it falls out of the slot you just pull it out and then if you've got something to rest on you can while you reposition yourself and essentially you're just going to pick it up and slide it right out of the track so to pull this roller out roll it all the way up here to the front you'll notice that it's a little wider up here and you can just kind of pop it out so this roller looks like it's a little bit worn down and there's no grease inside there at all. Nothing to lubricate this. And the way that this thing works is that that locks on like that and what this does is it allows you to adjust the in and out of that guy. You probably can't see it but that is the little plastic piece is no longer a rotating piece. It has just been grinding away over time and this bearing it's still working and that's probably where so much of my grinding is coming from is that this is no longer rolling so that is going to get replaced as well my whole point in taking this door off is that i wanted to be able to access all of this so that i can put sound deadening on it i forgot that in order to access the back hinge you actually have to take the door cards off to get to these bolts right here there's a section on the bottom, uh, the carpet, you pop it off first. So you can access each one of these by holding the carpet up and out of the way. There's a piece that goes across here, the padded part. Then you can get the center card off after that. And once you get all those off, then you can access these bolts here to pull off the center roller. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and clean all the interior up here and apply some sound deadening so that this door is quieter when I open and close it. One thing that's good about doing this too is you can make sure your weep holes are clear on the bottom. You've got three weep holes where moisture can come and drain out. My sound deadening, I'm using Noiko black 80 mil car deadening mat. It's wherever the metal is going to resonate, every time it hits one of these pieces, it, it kills that resonation. I basically put it in where I can reach. I'll put some on this surface here, as well as the inside surface. It will increase the weight of the door by a few pounds. It gives the car a much quieter, ride and a feel of solidity so you don't end up with feeling like you're riding in a tin can it is a little bit of a hassle to install especially when you're having to deal inside but so be it basically you get it in there and you just have to press it into place and the best thing to use i've found is it's like a pry tool that you would use for removing um, interior door cards but i love how it's shaped the rigidity of it, it works really good for getting in here, reaching around a corner and pressing something into place. When you're cutting this stuff, just be super careful. Last thing you want to do when you're doing this kind of stuff is to cut yourself up.
it's not necessarily pretty, but it does the job. That sheet metal is so thin that it tends to be very noisy. This helps to eliminate that. This is also a 12 millimeter. So this adjustment here actually also allows from, for some back and forth adjustment here, and this is actually a fairly good cutout, so you could adjust up and down uh, on it as well. So your angle as well as the depth of, of this hinge can be adjusted uh, in there. So once you've got your bolts out, um, there it is. My replacement, these are notorious for completely wearing out these little nylon uh, rolling sleeves. They wear down. This one is wearing down, but it's not as bad as the other one. And this obviously should tell you like how much adjustment you need to make to get pressure off of this. There is some trick to doing it, of which I am not a master. I might try to play with it this time and see if I can get it in there just right. You can't adjust this with the door cards on. So really and truly I need to install the door, get this just right, and then put my door cards on after that. And I am going to lubricate this bearing as well, because it desperately needs it. And this one allows for some adjustment as well. This top one I think is all right. So I'm gonna leave it be for now. Hey, my friend, I swear So the first thing I did here is I put the plastic cover uh, that protects the door card from moisture. Pizza. Everybody needs a little pizza in their Toyota van video. I mean, don't you think? It just seems appropriate. Hmm. Are you gonna take a break? Pause the video for a minute. Go get yourself a slice of pizza. I'll just wait. Mountain Beach Breckenridge Brewery. It's a session sour. I think that's got it. And it is sealed. Good. Now, this is gonna be pretty gross, but I'm gonna try to blow this out. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do with this is flood this with fluid film. It's both a rust uh, corro and corrosion protector, but it's also a lubricant. So. We'll see if that helps. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit back here on this guy. Okay, so I think that does it. It is now a nice and quiet door. Uh, no more ring as far as it's just so much of a difference. 
It's amazing how what a difference it makes. That fluid film for protecting against rust in that bottom uh, tray where the bearing rolls, uh, that bearing down there is really what carries the majority of the weight of the door. So um, if you can get some something like the fluid film or uh, something that really just isn't going to wash out, um, dirt and grossness is going to get in there. Uh, but it's almost like it foams up and kind of creates a, a, it's almost like a gel in there um, and feel like you know once a year you could refresh that and it would help that bearing on the bottom. Any of these things are good to do as far as a maintenance deal. So hope this video was helpful and uh, as always uh, I'll continue to make them as I get time. Hope everybody's enjoyed your weekend. Have a good one, and I'll see you the next time around. Take care.